Museums like the Met and the Art Institute of Chicago are featuring this one design trend on their home pages, as are auto manufacturers like Toyota, Tesla, and General Motors. Have you figured out what it is yet? That's right, they are all using video backgrounds. If you're looking for an easy way to take the design of your website up a notch, then you might want to try adding a video background. I'll show you how to do it coming right up. Hi there, I'm Christine on With Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do that, and if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add a video background to your website, and what we're going to be building is something like this. So we have a video background here, and we have some text overlaying it. We also have a button beneath the text. Now this might look a little bit complicated if you're new to WordPress, but it's actually really easy to do, especially because we're going to be using Thrive Architect, which is our WordPress plugin for building landing pages, sales pages, webinar signup pages, blog posts, and more. And you can do it all without having to touch a single line of code. So let's dive right in. First, you'll need to ensure that you have Thrive Architect installed and activated on your WordPress website. After purchasing Thrive Architect, or Thrive Suite if you want to get all of our tools at an amazing value, log into your Thrive Themes account and then download the Thrive Product Manager plugin. Then go to the back end of your WordPress website, go to Plugins and Add New, and then you can upload the file that you just downloaded. Follow the prompts to install and activate Thrive Product Manager. Once Thrive Product Manager is installed, then you will see it appear in the left sidebar. And if you click on it, you can then follow the prompts to install the Thrive tools you need. Next, open the page or post where you want to add a video background, or if you like, you can add a new page. Let's give this page a name. And then click Launch Thrive Architect. Now, because I'm creating a new page, Thrive Architect is giving me a few different choices for the type of page I would like to create. So a normal page will use your theme, header, footer, top section, bottom section, and sidebar. Or I can create a standalone page that uses a header and footer. Or I can create a standalone page that is completely blank. Or I can create a pre-built landing page using one of the page templates that comes with Thrive Architect. If you want to create something like a sales page or an opt-in page, and you want to be done as quickly as possible, then definitely try one of our pre-built landing pages. Now you can add a video background to any of these pages. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a standalone page with a header and footer. So I have my page here with a header and footer. These, by the way, were created using Thrive Theme Builder, which is our WordPress theme. So let's start by adding a background section to the page. Go to the Add Element button and look for the background section element, and then you can simply click and drag this into place. Next, make sure that you have the correct section highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the Background Style tab, and then turn on Video Background. Then you'll need to select a source for your video. Thrive Architect supports YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, other externally hosted videos. You can also upload your video to your media library. And Thrive Architect also supports VooPlayer and Spotlighter. My video is hosted on Vimeo, so I'm going to hop over to Vimeo and I will simply copy the link to my video. Now I'll hop back over to WordPress and I'll simply paste in the link. And then I'll press enter. All right, so here is my background video, but you might notice that this section is much too narrow. You can actually change the height of this section by going to the main options tab and then change the section minimum height. So there we go, here is the video background. So if that's all you want to do, you can stop here, but Thrive Architect makes it really easy to do even more. One thing you might want to add to your video is a text overlay. For example, you can display your tagline, you can invite visitors to click through to a different page, or you can invite visitors to click a button and sign up to get a lead magnet. To add a text overlay, it's really easy to do. Just go to Add Element, and then click and drag the text element into the background section. And that is actually going to display in the upper left-hand corner of the section. And then you can simply click to edit the text, and then you can also use the options on the left to customize the styling. 
All right, so here I have my text. To align your text to the center of the page, you can use the text element floating bar. And then if you want the text to be centered vertically within the background section, the easiest way to do that is to tell the background section to display anything I put inside right in the middle of the section. So what you'll need to do is click on the background section, make sure that background section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the main options tab, and then adjust the vertical position. Now, what if you've noticed that your text overlay is a little bit difficult to read on top of your video and you would like to add a dark wash or maybe a light wash or a colored wash over your video in order to make this text easier to read. That's actually really easy to do in Thrive Architect. So click on your background section and make sure that the section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then go to the background style tab. And then you can add a layer of color. So I'm going to click on the solid color square. And then you can use the color picker to adjust the color. And the key here is also to adjust the opacity of this color. So you can simply click and drag this opacity slider. And you can see that that makes your video appear darker and it also makes the text easier to read. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I'll go ahead and click apply. Next, if you would like to add a button to this section and turn this message into a call to action, you can easily do that. So let's go to the add element button in the upper right corner and let's look for the button element and then you can simply click and drag that into place. Now this button may not look exactly how you want it. If you would like to change the style of this button easily, then go to template button in the upper left hand corner and then just choose a new style. I'll choose this one. Now, if you like, you can customize the look of this button by using the options on the left. You can also customize the icon if the button you chose includes an icon. Simply click on it and then choose a new icon. And don't forget, let's go back to the button element. Don't forget to select a target URL for your button. Now, one of the common layouts I see with video backgrounds is a text overlay with a button, but off to the left side or off to the right side. So to do that, simply click on the text element and then click the left align button in the text element floating bar. So that has aligned our text to the left. And then to move the button over to the left, simply click on the button. Make sure that button is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then in the main options tab, click the left align button. Now to add a little bit of breathing room here so that the text and the button aren't too close to the left side of the page, let's add some padding to the background section. So I'll simply click on the background section, then I'll go to layout and position, and I'll simply increase the inside padding. The last thing I'd like to show you with Thrive Architect is how to make your video background mobile responsive. So all you need to do is use the buttons at the bottom of the page to choose a screen size and then make your changes. So we recommend starting with the desktop mode first, make sure that looks good. Then go to tablet mode and then you can go ahead and make your adjustments here. I think that looks okay. And then let's go to the mobile phone mode. Now here we need to make some adjustments. So the first thing I would like to adjust is the text. So I'll simply click on the text element and I'll simply adjust the font size. I would also like to adjust the padding to the left of the text and the button. So I'll click on the background section, make sure that background section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll go to layout and position and I'll adjust this padding here. And the last thing I would like to adjust is the height of this section. So now I'll go to the main options tab and I'll adjust the section minimum height. All right, so I, I'm pretty happy with how that looks and I hope that all of this was helpful in getting your background to look the way you want it to. Now there's one last thing I want to mention and that is how does adding a video background in Thrive Architect compare to using the Gutenberg editor? So you can add a video background in Gutenberg, but there's one major downside to using it. You have to host your video on your own website. So I have a new page here, and then to add a video background, you'll need to use the cover block. So let's search for cover. Here it is. 
and then you'll need to upload your video to your media library. And then after uploading it, you'll need to select it from your media library. So here's my video. And here is my video background. Now this is actually pretty convenient, but Gutenberg doesn't let you use external sources like YouTube or Vimeo. And for video, it really is better to use an external source. And here's a few reasons why. So first, many web hosts have specific restrictions against self-hosted videos. Second, video requires pretty substantial bandwidth, which could affect the site performance. And third, because video files are quite large, you may encounter file size limits and storage limits. So I would definitely recommend using a tool that allows you to use external sources, and that's just not really possible for video backgrounds in Gutenberg. So in my opinion, Thrive Architect is the way to go. Now, as far as purchasing, you can purchase Thrive Architect on its own, but I would also recommend taking a look at Thrive Suite because that includes all of our plugins and tools, and it's a really fantastic value for what you'll be getting. Links are going to be down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.